This might be the last few months of this dog's life. Three-year-old Walter is under the care of rescue charity Mayhew. After a surge in deaths and injuries from XL bully attacks, he is just one of the dogs that faces an uncertain future at the end of the year, after which it becomes illegal to find him a home. When the law comes into effect, those who cannot be rehomed, unfortunately, are going to be, have to be put to sleep. We believe in Walter's right to life and we are fighting for his second chance. If we don't find him a second home uh, before the law comes into effect, um, Walter will lose his life. Walter was one of the lucky ones. Some dogs aren't even making it to a rescue centre. Brought to the pound, these dogs were found abandoned, just two of a growing number. This dog here is Daisy. She was dumped at the pound's gates three weeks ago and she's one of the worst cases that they've seen yet. She was just literally skin and bones, no fat on her or anything. Um, obviously, she is going to be one of many that we're expecting to come over the next few weeks leading up to December. There's a massive, massive influx in people trying to get rid of the dogs, basically, because of the impending ban. Sky News can exclusively reveal the number of XL bullies that will be euthanised after the 31st of December, when it will become illegal to rehome or sell one. This is the number of dogs living in some of these rescue centres, among others. Animal charity Blue Cross estimates this will cost rescue centres at least £90,000. From February 2024, it will be illegal to own one of these dogs unless you have a certificate of exemption. The government says we've taken quick and decisive action to protect the public from tragic dog attacks. Alongside this, we're focused on ensuring that the full range of existing powers to tackle dog control issues are effectively applied across all breeds of dog. This includes considering the role of education and training to reduce the risk of dog attacks. But attempts are being made to delay the ban. This barrister is launching legal action against the government to challenge the process by which the decision to ban the XL bully was made. We're asking the government firstly under pre-protocol procedures to go back and think again about their process and do it again and if they won't we'll judicially review them. Good boy, he's a good boy, Walter. Parliament is set to debate a petition not to ban the XL bully on Monday after it reached 600,000 signatures. Questions do remain about whether these dogs should be saved but for dogs like Walter his future seems already decided. Walter. Amelia Harper, Sky News.